Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 4th, 2021. Well, yesterday we heard from Mr. Powell, and he decided to um, just ever so slightly taper the easy money policies. But another way to um, word that is we're going to continue to print a hundred and five billion dollars a month and the market absolutely loves it. You know it's just kind of amazing that the market um, just is so addicted and we love money printing as long as we can keep putting that debt on the on the taxpayer we love it and the market continues to surge four new records yesterday diamond spy qqq and iwm finally broke out so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you very, very much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about what we might want to do today. Well, first off, you know, it's I feel like a broken record here. There's not much we can say about this other than we continue to extend and really extend. Um, there seems to be no end to the willingness to buy um, stocks up at the moment. And um, we, as we continue to stretch out, we continue to create more and more risk of a pullback. We know we're overdue for that pullback, but it's just buy everything all the time. So if you take a look in here, notice that if we pulled back into these levels, that would be a pretty painful pullback just coming back into here. Um, it would be a um, really painful pullback if we came back into here and an awful pullback if we came all the way back down into here, which would be kind of interesting if that were the case because that's about where our 50-day moving average is. We have separated ourselves so far from that 50-day moving average in, in one straight up move. And just makes me nervous that um, eventually we could um, stumble or at least get a rest um, in the market. So be careful chasing already extended stocks. We take a look at the SPY. There's not much else we can say about that. It's the same thing, except we're a little bit more extended here in the SPY than we even are in the Dow. And noticing that there really isn't much of any kind of support in this area of price action, only two dark days. Um, um, on this calendar or on this chart really in a month. Um, uh, remarkable. And um, a pullback into here you can see would be extremely painful. Um, and that's not even all that um, heavy of a support area. The bigger support would be way down in here. So keep an eye on that. We're very extended in this spy and we're extremely extended away from our 50 day moving average. When we take a look at the cues, now the cues had a little bit of uh, rest right in here, and that's helpful. But notice, since we had that little bit of rest right here, we have just um, uh, continued to extend in an unbelievable move. So there's not much price support at all under this um, area. And as we continue to extend, the same thing is true. We're separating very far from our moving averages. Um, the hype around... Um, um, this earnings season has been incredible and um, we just continue to um, stretch these PE ratios to unbelievable levels. How much longer that can last? Well, your guess is as good as mine, but I would be really, really careful uh, with the understanding that we are very stretched out and inflation is con going to continue to be a problem for us. And then let's take a look at IWM. Boy, IWM got with the program yesterday and blew through that resistance. This is uh, nearly a year's worth of resistance here and we just smoked it hard yesterday plowing through there like it wasn't even there. And now what we wanna be looking for is that little resting pullback to maybe occur. But the way the market's been acting lately, no rest, we just keep going to the upside. We just keep stretching. So watch that carefully. We're kind of stretched away from this trend. Um, a rest or pullback in here would seem to be rather logical. If we take a look at our um, VIX, 
yesterday. Our VIX finally gave up a pretty good portion yesterday, um, pushing back down toward these lows. So notice we're down here pushing the lows in that VIX. And once again, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that we might re be reaching that area of complacency. So keep a close eye on that. But right now there just doesn't seem to be any concern in this market and the bears um, just have completely disappeared. So watch that closely. We could certainly break to new lows um, today or by the end of this week. And I suspect at this point, we're gonna see this push continue on through the week. The institutions are not likely going to give up this bull run very easily. They love it because it's attracting all kinds of money into the market. Let's take a look at our T2122, however. Now T2122 on that big surge yesterday pushed us right back up here. We're back up here in that bearish reversal zone. We had just a little bit of stocks pulling back um, yes, um, the day before yesterday where we just drifted a little bit um, waiting on the FOMC and now we're back up here in this area where we tend to reverse now we do have a little bit more upside potential so if we can find that energy in the day here we certainly could and we've got all kinds of reason that we could we've got tons of earnings reports today so watch that but remember when we reach up here um, we typically get some kind of a rest or pullback now what that means is that we've opened a massive downside potential in the market because of this stretch. So just be careful chasing those stocks that are overextended just in case we do happen to uh, find that period where everybody just says, hey, it's time to take some profits. So watch carefully there. And then our T2107, T2107 did perk back up yesterday. So that was a good sign for the market. We're picking up, notice we're getting uh, that trend underway we're holding those stocks in here and notice we're right there at about 50% of the market is now above its 200 day moving average. So a good sign there. And if we take a look at that T2108 that I've been bringing up here um, recently, T2108. Now I know nobody watches the 40 day moving average, but as you can see, um, about 68%, uh, we're getting close to well, 69% of the stocks are back above their 40 day moving average. And the concern that I have here is that we continue this process. Now we're breaking that downtrend, but we have fewer stocks above their 40 day moving average than we did back here and we did back here. So that is a little bit of a concern that we're pressing this up with just a select few. And um, that could create some problems if those select few were to decide to pull back. So watch that carefully. T2101, um, the market breadth continues to be very, very low. We continue to um, run in this wedging pattern. Um, I don't know when that might break, but this wedging uh, pattern continues to tighten. I would, I would say this is suggesting we're getting closer and closer and closer to that market top or that market pullback um, as this continues to wind up. But we still have more room in here where we can continue to uh, keep this party going. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a little bit on it that we want to be paying attention to. Um, we're going to um, hear from International Trading Goods. Um, the fact that we don't make much here in the United States anymore and everything is, is shipped in and we've got supply chain problems doesn't seem to matter anymore as those trade deficits continue to grow and grow and grow and we just don't seem to care. Um, it'll be interesting today on the jobless claims. Um, consensus is suggesting just a little bit of a uh, decline from last month. So watch those closely and again, even when these pop higher, we don't care, we just keep driving forward. Um, and then we've got productivity and costs and the natural gas, and then of course the Fed balance sheet. And we're over eight and a half trillion and just continue to print and nobody cares about that either. So, um, you know, party on. Um, and then Friday, this might be an interesting one where Friday we've got that employment situation number and it's not uncommon guys to see the market kind of stall out 
and be just a little bit choppy heading into this number. So kind of keep that in mind um, as we move forward, as you're planning forward and that number comes out before the market opens. So make sure you're prepared for that uh, before the close today. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is huge. More than 350 companies listed on the calendar today. And there's no way I would have time to even come close. Whoops, that's the blog. Come close to even um, covering all of those. But um, if you would click the link just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get a full list of those notables. And there are quite a bunch of them for today. Uh, take a look, we're gonna hear from SQ today. SQ has been running in a little bit of a downtrend. We're gonna hear from them, we're gonna hear from Carvana. Um, Carvana today, we're gonna hear from Moderna. We're gonna hear from Allstate. We've got news coming out um, from HBI little Hanes brand there. We're going to hear from Uber today. We've got um, um, Weight Watchers in there today. We've got Shake Shack um, in the list today. We're going to have Monster, um, Monster Beverage in here. Um, so we have a lot going on in this calendar today with a lot of uh, stocks that could move things around. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that thumb or that bell icon. I can't even say it. Click the subscribe button and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And then also, if you feel these videos are worthy, if they are helpful to you, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. I'm answering all those comments. I try really, really hard to answer all the comments. I do read them all and I truly appreciate it. Thanks for everyone who takes the time to do that. I know it's kind of a pain, but I really appreciate you guys supporting the effort that it takes to put these uh, videos out every day. And thank you so much. We're approaching that 25,000. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. And I do have that carving, my personal carving, that I'm going to be sending out to someone once we reach that 25,000. Also, guys, I, I just got to continue to shout out for everyone who continues to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee link. Uh, that's also below the title of the video. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that said, how about we take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence, making sure you understand the risk that you're following your plan and you should never ever follow anyone else's trade ideas or trade plan without knowledge of that risk and whether it fits your plan or not. Let's take a look at um, FedEx. Now I added an alert to FedEx yesterday and it actually popped that alert um, yesterday. This is that pattern that I talk about every once in a while, that tried and true pattern where we break the downtrend. And what really attracted me to um, FedEx in this potential move is that this consolidation was so nice and tight, a low risk entry potential trade. So pop through that alert. This is starting to move up. Now we do have some challenges. We're just right there at our 50 day moving average. But if we can pop through that 50 day moving average and hold, then we have that rounded bottom breakout pattern adding to um, this uh, chart. So keep an eye on FedEx. It's moving up and looking pretty good here at the moment. You might want to take a look at um, Las Vegas Sands, LVS. I add an alert to LVS. Now, although that we are a little bit um, stretched away from a support in here. Notice we've had about three days of little rest. If we got a couple more days of rest in here, that would be great for this chart. And again, this is those charts coming up out of those bottoms, around a bottom breakout here on this chart and that tried and true pattern coming together. And remember the round of bottom breakout is nothing more than the stocks rounding over in this bottom, those moving average round up above that 50 day and if we can hold above that 50 day and start to show buyers we start moving up toward that 200 day moving average those are very productive charts and very good patterns and i do want to tell you you guys want to go 
uh, check the Hit and Run Candlesticks website because my good friend um, Rick Sadler, who invented and and named the round the bottom breakout pattern, will be doing a class here very soon on the RBB. I highly suggest you take a look at that and uh, maybe join that class. You can get some great information out of it. Um, let's take a look at um, some more stocks here that are setting up. As you guys know, I've been um, keeping a pretty close eye here on Oracle. And Oracle, interestingly this morning, we're popping, look at this candle here on the, on the open today, uh, perking back up. So we've broken this support, but now we've recovered and we're trying to hold up here. So watch for that next opportunity here for Oracle to move on higher. Take a look at Fubo. Um, some of the folks in RWO are in Fubo and this thing took right off this line right here. This entire pink line was my alert. And that was just breaking through a fairly substantial level of price resistance in the chart. And now we've moved from that resistance level straight through to the next resistance level. So I would watch this for a little rest or pullback, a little consolidation. And let's just note this trend in here. If we were to rest or consolidate, consolidate over to the trend, or rest back into the trend, it would set up another opportunity in that chart. So keep a close eye on it. That's looking pretty good overall. Um, kind of like the way that's looking. I'm gonna mention um, um, cannabis here today because we had an interesting move um, yesterday in in cannabis we popped up again and I got to tell you this has been a real these have been real problematic charts so these may be, not be ready for prime time just yet but just keep a close eye on that we're trying to place this bottom in here and we're trying to break through um, TLRY ACB um, keep an eye on those charts we have been extremely oversold but so far just not quite there but I think they're worth keeping an eye on to see if we can start perking up in those charts. As you guys know, I've been mentioning FCX. Now FCX has been struggling here just a little bit and notice we're, we're kind of stuck between a support and resistance area in that chart and that possibility that we could just continue to trade in this range for a while does exist. But I want to point out the possibility that we could also, with the bullishness that we have seen in this market and how unbelievably bullish we have been in this market, that possibility that we could pop this early. So I think it's a good idea to keep a close eye on it. And there is talk that Congress may move forward with that infrastructure bill here before too long. So keep a close eye on that. Maybe some opportunities in that chart. Guys, I'm running short of time today. I was running late, so I'm going to cut this this video off. I want to call and say thanks to everyone. Um, I've got a dentist appointment today, so I'm going to be laying in a chair here in a couple hours getting drilled. Uh, potential root canal, I guess. So I won't be around most of the day, but I will get those um, comments answered later um, this afternoon. Thank you so much, everyone. Be safe. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.